So by now you understand what P4P is, and you should have already listened to the two page document that explains P4P and kind of from a high level. But let's now zero in on some of the fundamental aspects of the metrics that are required and how to determine them for your business. The primary one being what percentage of labor revenue should be going to your employees on P4P. Now, as you're getting your software set up, this is something you're going to want to figure out because this is a number that you can always move up, but it's very hard to bring this number down after you have implemented P4P. We're gonna talk about how to roll out this software to your team, roll out this whole program and explain P4P to them in a way that they're gonna actually vote for it to be implemented. However, before you even do that, you need to run the numbers in the back end to know what percentage of labor revenue should you be giving to your employees. Now, the first thing that I do when someone asks me, what percentage should I give of labor revenue to my employees? Well, it's really, Two, two, two reasons why you're implementing P4P. One is you wanna give your employees more money because perhaps you're out of the business, it's an established company, and you just want it to run smoother and give them opportunity to grow. In that case, this is what I would do. First, I would look at last year's revenue, labor revenue, again, how many budget hours did we complete last year? What's your hourly rate? Multiply those together. You're gonna to come with your labor revenue, not your total revenue, but you need to know what your labor revenue was for last year then you are going to need to calculate what your total wages were for the field workers. Not all of your staff in the office and all the rest of it. Just how much wages, total wages, went to your employees out in the field. Take that number, total wages, that dollar amount from last year, divide that by your total labor revenue, and you're gonna come up with a percentage. That's the percentage of labor revenue that was paid to your employees last year without p for p so again, if you are in that first group that you're not trying to necessarily make more profits, you're very healthy, profitably, and financially the business is doing well. In this case, I would actually recommend implementing P4P at that percentage. Because essentially you're gonna get the same percent as last year, however, the increase in efficiency that's gonna come as a result of P4P is gonna go directly to your employees because they're just simply going to make more money if they're more efficient, and they're, you're not gonna make any more because the percentage of labor revenue you gave last year will be the same as what you have on P4P. Now, for most of us joining P4P, it's the second reason that brought us to the system, and that is that we don't have a high enough profit margin, the financials of the business are shaky, and we need to inc improve those margins. So what are we going to do? We're gonna take that percentage that we calculated from last year by, again, taking the wages, total wages, divided by the total labor revenue earned for those hours, that percentage is now going to be somewhat re reduced. Say for example, we had $100,000 in total labor revenue. Now let's just assume that we also had $40,000 worth of wages and labor wages. So I'd do 40,000 divided by 100,000, that would impute a 40% of labor revenue went to the employees in the form of wages from last year. But if my business is not profitable, I would recommend going lower than that number. I would recommend in that scenario, going about 33 or 35%. But the thing that I really wanna keep in mind when I'm determining the percent of labor revenue going to the employees is actually making that number simple enough for them to do the math in their own head. So when I originally calculated the percentage of labor revenue that I wanted to give to my, my, my employees, it was actually around 31 or 32%, right in the middle. And I decided to give them 33%, not because I was really nice or generous or that the business could afford it at the time. It was simply because I wanted them to be able to quickly divide the labor revenue of a job by three, i.e. 33%, and know exactly what their wages were. So I recommend you try to stick to a round number. Regardless of your industry, you might be at 30%, you might be at 20% if you're doing construction, you know, very complicated build stuff, HVAC, et cetera. You might be at 50, 60, 70% if you're doing very, very simple services. Regardless of the percent, I recommend rounding to a number that is easily divisible for your employees. So that way in the future, as they learn P4P, they can do the math in their head every single day before the job even starts of how much money they're going to make. At the end of the day, your employees knowing the system, understanding the system, and being able to calculate how much money they will make every single day in their own head by themselves will dramatically improve the effects of P4P in your business.